Hello everybody. I've been tagged again. I've been tagged by Air Record USA. Air Record USA is the channel of um, a young fella called Mitchell. If you don't know his channel I'll put a link in the box below and I would ask you to check out a couple of his videos show him a bit of support and if you like what he's doing give him a sub. But for now I've been tagged to do a VR. Um, but it's Friday and I've just got in from work and I'm gagging for a beer. So I'm going to do that first. Sorry Mitch. The beer is Innison Gun Rum Finish. Now I had an Innison Gun beer last week and I was massively impressed with it. That um, Scotch Whiskey Porter goes remarkably well with a chilli. So what have we got here? Let's get it poured first. Right, there we go. Only a small bottle. 330ml. 6.8% alcohol by volume. Says this ruby red beer is matured over the finest rum infused American oak heartwood, resulting in a beer with a delicious warming character that is bursting with fruit and lively spiciness. Well, it is certainly a dark ruby beer. Smells like beer. Quite uh, butterscotchy, toffee sort of flavour. Not really bitter, not too sweet. Probably not as remarkable as the Scotch Whiskey Porter, but a very, very nice beer. Mm. Now, anyway, to business. The tag from Mitchell was to show your knife collection. And in his video, he had a selection of blades out on the tabletop, which he talked us through. I'm not going to do a full knife collection video. I don't think it'd be practical because I've been on YouTube now for a couple of years building up my collection bit by bit. Um, I bought quite a few knives and I've won quite a few knives in giveaways and I've been very lucky to receive some lovely knives as gifts. But if I did an overview of the whole collection it'd take me all day and I'm sure you'd get bored halfway through at least watching it all so I'll just show you a little indication of why I think doing a full collection overview is not really practical. So what I will do, Mitchell, if you don't mind, <clears throat> um, I'd like to have a look at one particular knife, 
when you tagged me, Mitchell said about my channel that you tend to see a lot of knives that you wouldn't see anywhere else. So I've picked a knife that has been in the collection a while now. It was certainly one of the earliest quality knives I paid out for. And it's fairly sure, I'm fairly sure it's the first custom knife that I had. It's the GI Custom Tanto 200. So I know you've seen it before, a lot of you. Um, but any excuse to get the GI Custom out, to be honest. So, let's have a look. So this is the knife. It's a <coughs> GI Custom Tanto 200. As you can see, we've got the GI Customs logo stamped in the back, a pouch sheath, basket weave tooling, and the belt loop is riveted on in three places. So this is, uh, as I say, GI Customs, that's George Icard, and this is the knife. As the name implies, the Tanto 200 has a Tanto tip and a swedge on the front half of the blade. This was the first Tanto design knife that really caught my attention. I'm not overly fond of Tantos. Um, obviously on a traditional Japanese knife they look appropriate. But on tactical knives, it's just not really my style. But this pattern really did get my attention. And there on the tang we've got the maker's logo again, stamped in. It's 3 sixteenths one tool steel. Two stainless steel pins holding on the desert ironwood burl scales. The blade is uh, just over four and a half inches altogether, but with a cutting edge to the tip of a touch over four inches. It is quite a heavy knife, so it's quite thick stock, but the balance is nice, it's very comfortable in the hand. Now you see the edge, it's lovely and sharp, it takes a very very nice edge. I'm just going to drop in some footage from an old video where I was testing this. Um, I don't know if you've seen it but you might find it interesting. We're simply just going to go in. Unfortunately, as you can see, some of the taters have taken a bit of a mashing, but that was quite easy. So after that really quite abusive test, there were a couple of small rolls on the edge, but all I needed to do was just get some fine wet and dry paper and uh, a squirt WD-40 and it soon brings the edge back to razor sharpness. Oh. 
it is, I think, a very handsome knife. See if we can show it off without the light uh, glinting too much. The desert ironwood. Let's come up to the camera. The colour and the grain in the ironwood is lovely. It's quite um, quite a bright, fiery colouring. And this, after a couple of years, is still one of my favourite knives. The sheath is very well made, good thick leather. We've got a nice push fit, nice retention. It wasn't a cheap knife by the standards of my budget, but worth every penny. Definitely a knife that you could rely on. So I thought that's what we'd have a look at today. And I know it isn't a look at my collection, as you asked for in the tag. But I hope you enjoyed a closer look at my GI Custom Tanto 200. Mm -hmm.